Um, something new for us, but we're always looking to learn and facilitate um, for our communities. And uh, to be honest, uh, I'll tell you why we, we came across this idea that we should be doing um, a celebration of Rabi al Awal. Some people may call it a Milad Sharif, some people may call it Mawlid, whatever you want to call it, these are all names. But what sort of rang to my mind that it was important to do it was the fact that our organizations are representative of the communities they serve. Our organizations, our mosques, our schools, our hospitals, and even our prisons where I serve as an imam in one of them, just sessional. And in all these organizations, in particular the professional ones, so if I was to say hospitals and schools and uh, prisons where Muslim leaders and imams work, um, we're taught this again and again, that sir or chaplain or doctor or whoever you may be, you're not here to represent yourself. It's not about you. It's about the people you serve. Many of us come from professional backgrounds and we're told that again, it's not about just you. It's about your patients, it's about your students, it's about the prisoners you have in front of you and how you have to sometimes swallow what may be your preference, what may be your choice, what may be your opinion for the greater cause of serving the people in front of you. So having heard this over the past month, I felt it was very, very important that the Abrahamic Foundation that was set up on this basis that it would serve all parts of our community, not one part of our community, not one ethnicity from our community, not one language from our community, but it was set up with this intention that it would serve every member of our community, firstly the Muslim community and then secondly even the non-Muslim community. Because that's who we are as an organization. So Alhamdulillah, on the back of that, with some conversations with our members and volunteers, we, Alhamdulillah, everybody agreed and we said we should have a celebration uh, of the month of Rabiul Awal, uh, the month in which the Prophet wasallam, <coughs> peace and blessings be upon him, was born. Uh, the, the Prophet, the man, the human being, the Rasul, the greatest, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who unites us all as a Muslim woman. He is the uniting factor for us all. And we felt that this uniting, uniting factor should not be taken away and this opportunity shouldn't be lost. So hence here we are today celebrating the month of Rabi Awal, celebrating the month in which the Prophet Sallallahu was born and also the month in which the Prophet Sallallahu left this world as well. And it's been a, a massive honor uh, to be able to contact uh, many of the local masjids and imams from different centers and all of them receiving us very warmly and very happily wishing to come. We've got apologies from some organizations and it's not their fault, it was a very short notice just one and a half weeks notice we gave to a lot of the Imams, but Alhamdulillah all of them accepted uh, and today we'll be hearing from them as well. And this is part of us as Muslims learning to listen, learning to listen to one another, learning to learn about the other people. Because so many times we move around in our neighborhoods and even in our streets. May Allah save us sometimes even in our families. When we talk about one another, but we don't understand one another. We don't understand what, for example, methodology someone is following and we're very easy to label and very easy to be judgmental, but we've never had a conversation. And we hope these conversations, these meetings, this bringing together of people from our community that represent Muslims across Sanbal and Birmingham, inshallah, will be a means of our betterment. So without any further ado, um, we're going to go with the Islamic tradition. And that is that whenever we have the gathering, we commence the gathering with the recitation of the Holy Quran. So I would like to uh, invite Hafiz uh, Abu Ubaidah Abdullah, he is one of the students here at the Abrahamic Foundation, to recite a portion of the Quran which is relevant in regards to the birth of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he will also be reading the translation of that ayah for us to benefit. Jazakumullah khairah. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ما كان على النبي من حرج فيما فرض الله له سنة الله في الذين خلوا من قبل وكان أمر الله قدرا مقدورا 
الذين يبلغون رسالات الله ويخشونه ولا يخشون ولا يخشون أحدا إلا الله وكفى بالله حسيبا ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليما يا أيها الذين آمنوا اذكروا الله اذكروا الله ذكرا كثيرا وسبحوه بكرة وأصيلا هو الذي يصلي عليكم وملائكته ليخرجكم ليخرجكم من الظلمات إلى النور وكان بالمؤمنين رحيما تحيتهم يوم يلقونه سلام وأعد لهم أجرا كريما يا أيها النبي إنا أرسلناك شاهدا أرسلناك شاهدا ومبشرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله بإذنه وسراجا منيرا وبشر المؤمنين بأن لهم من الله فضلا كبيرا ولا تطع الكافرين والمنافقين ودع عذاهم ودع عذاهم وتوكل على الله وكفى بالله وكيلا صدق الله العظيم There is not to be upon the Prophet any discomfort concerning that which Allah has imposed upon him this is the established way of Allah with those prophets who have passed on before and ever is the command of Allah, a destiny decreed. Allah praises those who convey the messages of Allah and fear Him and do not fear anyone but Allah. As sufficient is Allah as a counter. Muhammad is not the father of any one of your men but he is the messenger of Allah and last of the prophets and ever is Allah of all things knowing. All you who have believed, remember Allah with much remembrance and exalt Him morning and afternoon. It is he who confers blessings upon you and his angels ask him to do so, that he may bring you out from the darkness into the light. And ever is he to the believers merciful. Their greeting that the day they meet him will be peace and he is prepared for them a noble reward. O Prophet, indeed we have sent you as a witness and bringer of good tidings and a warner and one who invites to Allah by his, by his permission and illuminating lamp and, good tidings, and give good tidings to the believers that they will have from Allah great bounty. And do, not diso- and do not obey the disbelievers and the hypocrites, but do not harm them, and rely upon Allah, and sufficient is Allah as disposer of affairs.